Hi, this is Neil Walters with FieldsVideos.com, and I've been kind of breaking the Townstar game into phases. We're about to enter the phase where I'm going to get my game ready to go overnight. It's about uh, almost 7 p.m. right now, Central Time, and I have till, I usually go to bed between 11 and 12, or closer to 12, so I have till that time at night to kind of get the game where it's going to be self-running and make a lot of money using the auto sell script overnight, mostly from my milk barns here and my chicken coops and we need to get things shored up over here regarding the whether or not we're going to have a power plant or not and a water pump or not that kind of thing but i need to keep making cash if i'm going to do that and of course if we build a power plant we're going to need a wood mill to make wood you know uh, from the, and for the lumber yards that kind of thing and by the way now i've noticed my next mistake that i made was now that I built all these uh, milk barns and still have my chicken coop, originally my food troughs were almost always full. And I do have this NFT here called a wheat stand, a rare wheat stand, and it's filling up these feed mills. And it will do that like all the way around it. But notice I kind of painted myself in with these little uh, dirt roads just toward the end of the last video. I was trying to make efficiency of like the farmers having to walk here and the ranchers walking just a little bit faster but I forgot that I'm going to need more feed mills. And so I, I can't just really stick a feed mill over here because I'm not growing any wheat. Normally you have farmers growing wheat and then the ranchers go get the wheat and put in the feed mills. But once you have the wheat stand, you basically surround it with your feed mills. So I have a couple of choices. See, there's no, I may have to put one right here. The other one is I could probably put one across the road here because I think it goes out at least two, maybe three, but I think that one would be too far away. So I basically have two choices right now. I can either destroy this dirt road and put one there. And that's actually kind of kind of good and symmetrical because that way there's a feed mill like two spots away from this one, two spots away from that one, and th this one is equidistance between those two. If I put one over here, I have to pay $5,000 to remove the marsh. And if I need a fourth one, that might be the place to put it. But I'm going to stick it right here. Make sure we're in line. Yes. So I'm going to remove that road. Boom. And we're going to put a feed mill right there. I do have enough money. Yes, I have 30000 money. No, no, no. Okay. If you pick the wrong item, you can hit cancel here. Until it's built, it it doesn't actually charge you anything. So I meant to pick a feed mill, not a feed trough. See, they're both $5,000, so easy to mix up. It only takes one wood. And over in my wood shed here, we have nine wood, so that should be pretty quick. And by the way, like I said, I started, well, I said it's about 7 p.m. Central Time. It's actually 5 till. And at 6 o'clock Central Time is when the daily challenge kicks over for me. So you can see that I've earned 850 stars in the last 50 minutes. And this is with the town that I'm building from scratch. So I started it earlier today, roughly about 1 or 1.30 or 2 p.m. I didn't even jump on at 11 a.m. when they have the land rush. And I like all my little uh, mills to face the same direction. So I turn them like that. Now if we watch it from this angle... It upside down here. If I have enough ranchers, they should be now kind of keeping these food trowels troughs a little more full. Uh, I have how many ranchers do I have? I have two ranchers, and I guess there's one over. Here. Well, that's a worker house. Yeah, they look similar: gray roof versus a blue roof. Rancher houses are blue roofs. Well, there's a rancher house right there. And I have room for another one there if I need four. Let me just kind of watch for a minute and see what the ranchers are doing. Like she's bringing the milk to the warehouse, the storehouse. That rancher is just kind of wandering around. I don't know what she's doing. That one's doing the feed trough. This one's taken to the feed trough. So that's what she was doing. She was coming to the feed trough to take to the feed mill to take it to the feed trough. All right, we got our milk cell coming in. Another 40,000 coming. I know it's kind of upside down now. So that right now, the way I've got the screen oriented, the truck is here. 
So it's going to go make 40,000 for me. Look at my milk counts over here. Again, I'm making roughly nearly 30 milk an hour. So again, that should be three sales of 40,000 or 120,000 per hour. And so if I just did that between now and say 10 p.m. for three hours, I would have 120,000 times three. That's like $360,000 that I could then use toward things like the uh, power plants. Or do I want to build another milk barn? And since I have the water here and the feed and all, I'm really tempted to go ahead and put another milk barn in here. So that'll cost me 15000 to remove the stump because I want it right next to the water. And then it will cost me 50000 to build the barn. So I'm going to go ahead and remove a stump now matters which side I put it on. I like to keep things symmetrical. Yeah, notice this one over here is empty, and that one's not quite empty, because there's three three guys, three cows over here that are eating out of that one, and over here we're going to have one cow and one chicken. The chickens probably don't eat as much as the cows, because they go make eggs more often than the cows make milk. So I'm Still debating whether I need another rancher. I think so. I mean, ran ranchers are cheap. So if I turn over here again, I hope that doesn't twist your eyes too much. I'm going to go ahead and put another rancher right here. Always better to have, I think, one or two extras than not enough. Especially if you have the roads for it. I'm going to turn that kind of like that way. I want to keep my eye on both food troughs and make sure they're both getting uh, enough feed in them. I'm thinking out loud here is do I need a fourth feed mill or not? Two to one is probably good, but right now I have three to two. I have two troughs and three feed mills. I think one more feed mill would probably be good. As before, we talked about, oh, I'd have you to remove this road or this marsh. If I remove that road, then our, our house is not in front of a road. But what I could do is add another road right here. So again, this is just a kind of a judgment call. If you learn, the more you play, the more you learn what you think you should do without being 100% sure. Blow away that road. I don't have any feed mill right there. I have enough money. Now, these two feed mills are a little closer to this trough than these two are to this one. So it would be interesting to see if that balances them out well or not. See, just as I went ahead and built that one, look now, almost all the feed troughs are full. And that could be because maybe the cows are making their milk right now. Well, oh, all the cows are eating. See, maybe I didn't need this feed trough after all. I could cancel it and save my $5,000. Nope, not, not now. Now it's being built. Again, I'll rotate it so they all go the same way. So see, all four of them are getting uh, wheat from this wheat stand. Okay. Now I'm just going to go manage my gasoline. I don't think I need to do that on the video. But see, now all of a sudden I have three gas and no petroleum. So I'm going to turn the one that's further away. As soon as he makes his next, next gas, he's kind of halfway got the gas made. He's got all the ingredients to make the gas. And then this one, same thing. So right now, good. He just turned on his smokestack. So as soon as this is done, I'm going to stop crafting gas here and turn him into a petroleum crafter. And now I see the ranchers are actually throwing away feed on the road. So they're all the troughs are full. And I noticed one of them is grabbing the feed and throwing it away. So now I got at least more than enough feeders and maybe didn't even need that fourth one. But we'll see. So there I go. I'm selling uh, 10 eggs right now. And I just noticed something. My farmers right now, their only purpose is to water things. Because now that I'm not growing peppermint, like I'm not growing sugar or wheat. So... I think all the farmers would be doing is watering the trees, if anything, the tree farms. And if the tree, like there, I just saw those guys throwing water away on that road. So, so I'm, you know, I 
could have too many farmers. And if I wanted to save money here, I can, it's only $10 a minute though, compared to the refineries at $300 a minute. It's like almost inconsequential. And there's my money from the eggs, but I still don't have enough to build a, a barn because I don't have enough padding. Barns cost $50,000. That would only leave me 2000 which is about three minutes worth of time on the clock here. So I'm spending $800 a minute right now. Refineries are actually using six, no, 200 a minute, excuse me. Refineries are 200 a minute, not three, maybe it's 300 when you're doing gas. I can't remember, but they're 200 a minute now. So one's gas and one's petroleum. So out of my $800 a minute, this is my biggest expense is these two guys right here. But I do have six milk. And as soon as those milk get up to 10 and, and sell, and I, we have enough gas now. We have three gas. Pretty soon, I think both refineries going, we'll get up to five or 10 gas here before too long. And we're not selling peppermint anymore either. But at this point, that'd be another reason to get rid of the chicken coop because really to save gas, you want your products you're selling to be more expensive. And like I said before, the milk is two and a half times roughly of what the eggs are. So at some point I might want to get rid of my chickens and put another barn there so that we're getting higher more expensive products per gas run or per truck run. I'll put a couple more temporary roads here and here. I'd love to put one here and here, but we have tree stumps over there. And that still costs me too much money at this point in the game, I believe, to bother replacing man with roads. So I'm not getting a lot of benefit out of these roads, but just a wee bit. And my next shortage is energies, batteries. So having both of these refineries running now, I'm needing two energies for this and uh, six for this. And basically right now we have only one left in both warehouses. So I need probably one or two more wind turbines. Again, until I get a power plant built. You can see a milk run just started there. Okay, I decided to build another windmill here. And I was worrying about it slowing this one down. And then I forgot this one's already red because I'm in the mountains. Okay, so before that windmill even gets built, let me cancel it. We want fast windmills, not slow ones. So the bad thing is, though, the only other place I can put a windmill is kind of like in this area here. We don't want it shading my tree farms. Anywhere I have a little unused road. No, not really. I don't want to put it here because I think the, the, there'd be wind blockage from these houses. Anywhere over here, I get the mountain interference. Anywhere over here, I have mountain interference. So it looks like the only place that put it would be right in this area. So I wanted away from my milk barns. I don't know if milk barns cause most, much wind issue, but it looks like maybe right here. We have a road and then we'll build the windmill off video, the wind turbine off video. You know what, since I have enough money I'm going to go ahead and put a windmill here anyway. It's going to be slow. Uh, let's see how slow it is. But it's still an extra windmill. So even if it creates one battery every three or five minutes, we, we, we could still use it, I think, right now. I notice also now I, I had another milk sale come in. So I have, I think, enough money now to go ahead and build another milk barn. Notice that I have almost another egg sale coming and four more eggs. Well, let's put a milk barn right here because I cleared that stump a little while ago. I'll do this off video too. So even this uh, windmill here, wind turbine, is uh, only in the yellow zone. It's not in the green zone. To really be in the green zone, I guess you have to be away from the mountain at least maybe four spots. Let's try a windmill here instead of that one. Just need to let the builders catch up. They need to build the barn. They need to build this windmill. And then I guess I'll go ahead and destroy this windmill because they'll both be red if they're that close to each other. Okay, I checked over here. I have earned my rewards for the day. So I'm going to collect that. And it'll be now another 22 hours before I can collect my rewards again. Oh, I wasted a move there because basically that windmill is still in the yellow zone. 
So I was hoping by getting rid of that one and putting it here, maybe just a little bit further from the mountain, it would be green. So without getting rid of a stump, yeah, you know, it could also be, let's just see if this guy's causing the problem. You know what? We can remove him and we can return him and re-add him you know, as needed, which is cool about NFTs. Now, John, I can't remember if it's immediate or not. Uh, I'll wait in a minute. I'll see the next time the windmill starts if he goes green. I can't remember if you change something. I think while it's, while it's in progress, I think it will speed up if there's an impediment to it. But, uh, it's another fact I don't remember right now. Now we're getting this windmill over here. I know it's going to be red. Ooh, eight minutes. And then this one, I'm guessing is probably eight minutes total as well. So that means out of these two windmills, we're going to get one battery about every four minutes. No, and until recently, I thought you couldn't remove the pastures because I thought you had to click the remove button and there was no remove button, but you can actually just build on top of them. You can just click that and go ahead and build a road there. I'll do the same here. What I do now, usually at this point in the game, is like, here, I put this road to indicate that probably I'm going to have a road running this way at some point. And, you know, some that's probably my worst planning that I do, is I don't always have my roads planned, because then sometimes you almost have to count to the border. You don't want, like, your crops and stuff either need to be separated by a road from your buildings, or, like, especially your housing, usually you want a road, and then two rows of houses, and then another road. So, see, there... It looks like that's a good place for me to have a road because of these two houses. But if you multiply that out, then I could have two houses and then a road and then, yeah, one more row of houses. So there it works out pretty good, but I, I, that's just by pure luck. If, if that ended up the wrong count, I could then have a lot of wasted space on the board, okay? If I'd put another windmill here, he's yellow too. This one's still red. This one's still red. And I need to get my energy up again until I get my power plant built. And the money is, I'd say, almost starting to flow now. Because I just sold another milk. And see, now I have 66000 And if I built, I don't, I don't think I'm going to build any more barns. At this Well, it's tempting. To build another barn, I need to probably get rid of that stump there and put it right there. Yeah, I think I will do one more barn, but it's going to take me a little while because removing that stump is going to cost me dearly. The other the other question I had before is should I re should I remove my chickens and put a barn there instead? I'm about 50-50 on that one. Okay, some time has passed here and I've done a few things. I, I did get rid of the chicken coop. And now I have uh, seven barns. So that's going to produce a pretty good income right there. And I went ahead and decided, okay, I'm going to need some more trees shortly because I definitely need another, either a, um, a woodshed or the larger one. And because right now my, my wood is full, but I know that each barn is using one wood. And uh, if I start building things, I'm going to need wood. And a lot of things are going to need wood. So I took some time to build, I think, three ponds over here. And that way now I have four tree farms that actually need no water. That one still needs two. And then here I might put a pond here shortly. I just wanted to double check. See, that one's one short of water. I think this one was one or two short. So if I build a pond there, that's going to eliminate the farmers and everybody from having to carry water. But I don't need them immediately. I really need a woodshed first to put them in. And then I'm going to start working on this area over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a water pump here as soon as I have the money. Because I need to demolish the marsh and then build it. And I, I think that will provide... I'm going to, I need to find out if that's going to provide one or two water. Because right here I'm making uh, gas and that needs two waters. So I want to be able to survive the night without the water facility if I can. So I'd like to have at least one water pump if not two in this area to provide water to these two guys, even if I don't do the power plants. But I think I'll be able to have time to do both because right now it is 8.07 p.m. And again, I'm kind of doing this part-time now. I think I can leave it and come back every 15.
20, 30 minutes and then just upgrade with the new money I have. So I will go offline and I will put a water pump here and then I'll come back and talk to you later. So now my water pump is done over here and I temporarily turned off my gas production because I want to see exactly how much water it provides. And you can see it's giving one water to the refiner. And so I think you need two water pumps. To, I think even if it was here, I think it would still only get one. I think you need two water pumps next to the gas refinery to get enough water. And then so if we put one here, then that will give one unit of water to this one. And it will also give one to that one. And this guy will then get two. And so we should be good. So in a prior video, I showed you that I was using this tool called Snagit. And I was proposing a couple of different ways I build this out. Okay, so this is uh, number one, where I was thinking about putting my lumber mill here, and then the oh, power plant here. You see, I could have two power plants, like di uh, what do you call it, diagonal to the water pump, but then I wouldn't have any water pump for this refinery over here. It's too far away. That I don't think is the optimal situation. And then I had this one. I was debating about moving that, but basically the water pump I just proved gives one diagonally and I believe it's one all the way around. So if I leave my refinery here, it will get uh, water from this water pump as well, but I'll have to build a pond there. So if I turn my thing over, you see I have to destroy the wood. That'll cost 15,000. I have to build a pond, that's 20,000, so that's a total of 35. And then I'll destroy the road and build a water pump here. So that's 35 plus 50 is $85,000. So you see I'm gonna need about uh, two more milk sales at least, if not three, before I complete all that. But I can go ahead and start, I can go ahead and remove the stump now. See, it's just good to know where you're going so that you, you don't go off in a way that you have to waste your time and waste your money. What else is it here? Oh, before I build the power plants, I have to have a lumber mill. And the lumber mill, eventually we want it next to a power plant as well. So the, when we first start the lumber mill, it's going to get its power from the electrical batteries, the energy units from the storehouse. But then eventually, once we build our first power plant, like over here, it will, it will get its energy from that. This is the thing I guess I don't know is if if this, ref this refinery might need to be here to get the full power from the power plant, but I've already built it here. And remember I, in the prior video, I said I was just gonna go ahead and do it. I, I didn't have, sometimes you just have to make a decision and go with it, right? And then later you have to fix it. But ideally you would plan this out, something like what I'm doing here. And then I would have made the mistake of putting the refinery there in the first place, or maybe not even putting this warehouse here in the first place. So one other thing I need on this picture is I need, let me, copy this, I will need a lumber yard as well. So usually I want the lumber yard as close as possible to the lumber mill, but it also needs to be by a road. So it either needs to be like right here or right here. And it doesn't have to be a lumber yard, it could be a wood shed, but basically, unfortunately the, the lumber yard costs like five, uh, five or 10 times more than the uh, the woodshed that it only holds twice as much material. And a woodshed can hold lumber, by the way. So you could build just two different woodsheds here, but in the longer point of the game, you're, you're going to run out of squares on the board. So a lumber yard, you, you end up usually replacing all your woodsheds with lumber yards, usually by the end of the game. So think ahead as to what you're going to be doing later in the game. So when I get a little more money here, I'll come back and tell you what I've been doing. But basically, I'm going to build a pond, which is 20 grand. So as soon as my next milk sale comes in, I'll build the pond there. And then I will continue down here to build the water pump as soon as I have like two more milk sales. And you see the milk sales are coming in pretty good now that I have like seven barns. And see, here's one going right now. Our stats are a little behind here, but this shows that I'm making about 50 milk an hour. And I have a feeling it's actually higher than that because this is averaged based on when I only had, say, three or four barns as well. And again, to get the averages to, to resync, you have to refresh the web page, which I don't want to do right now. 
And I just got another surprise. Uh, since I'm building the pond here, I thought, okay, I'll build a well as close as I can. And that well has three out, three minutes and 40 seconds, almost four minutes to fetch its water. And my guess is that just like the windmills have a problem next to the mountain, apparently water mill, water mills, I mean, uh, water, what do they call them? Water wells, water wells have, uh, also apparently have trouble getting water next to a mountain. I guess the ground's rockier and it just takes longer for them to work. So to build this pond, it, you know, right now it needs zero out of 10 water and they're going to have to be delivering the water from like all these different wells all the way across the board. So that pond's going to take a little while to build. Okay, I'm back. And so now I got my two water pumps here and this is proving now that this water pump is giving one drum of water to here. And as soon as we get the next gas going here, we'll prove that we're getting two, one from this water pump and one from this water pump here. And now that that's true, I should not need my water facility anymore. I kind of hate the water facility because again, it fills up my warehouse. So trusting that I'm correct, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And that gave me an idea later. Let me show you. I'm going to go back to my Snagit picture here. My other idea was, see, I now have three versions of what I went through. This was like version one. Version one was this, which was probably the worst one. And I went to version two, which was this. What was missing on this picture was that I needed a lumber mill and a lumber yard. I think I had that on one, but I must have saved it to the wrong place. I was just thinking the lumber yard needs to be next to a power plant. And now that we don't have the water facility there, I think that's a better place for the lumber mill. And then usually you need the lumber yard really close to your lumber mill so he doesn't have to go far. And so I think I'll remove that stump there, which is a lot cheaper than removing, uh, at least at first, this uh, rock here. And then get that lumber yard built so my lumber can start piling up. And then I'll build my lumber mill. And you, then you need the lumber. You need five lumber before you build your first power plant. But that's going to be the order that I do this. So right here, you see my milk is coming in really nicely now. I think I'm really getting about a, a sale of milk about every 10 minutes. So I'm getting another $40,000 every 10 minutes. So that's allowing me to do be a little more relaxed and have, have a little more choices now in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that stump there and put my lumber yard there. Remember, we're going to put the lumber mill right here across the street from it. So now the lumber yard is being built right here. And by the way, the other thing I added was over here, I added a second oil pump. My first one was here because right now you can see I'm finally getting enough gas to stay even. And actually I am, my petroleum is nicely building up. But every time I make a petroleum, I use two crude oil. So now I basically need to increase my crude oil production. And I was looking around, I, I like to keep my, my uh, pump jacks here. That's what I call them, what do they call them? Oil pumps. My dad was in the oil business, we used to call them pump jacks. So I think I need another pump jack like right, you know, it has to be next to a road. So they have a road, but I'd have to clear a stump there or I'd have to add, clear a stump and add a road here and then maybe another pump jack there. So that's something I need to do probably in the next uh, 10 minutes. And uh oh, look how, oh, I think I made a slight mistake a while ago. See now when I built this uh, lumber yard here, I wasn't really looking, it's $50,000. And yeah, that took me down to 2000 and see, I only have seven, uh, I'm using 750 a minute. So if I can, I want to turn off my gas, I guess so. I need to turn these off. I may run out of money right now. I mean, there's ways I'll have to sell. Like at worst case, I could sell a barn or a pond or something like that. But I, I did get myself into a little money crunch just now. And that was poor, just not thinking because I'm making a video and adding things. And I just didn't look at my dollars before I built this. Actually, I can still destroy it. Let's do a cancel. There we go. We're back to 51,000 now. <laughs> so all I did is I, I wasted a, a little bit of wood and time there, but, but no big loss. Better than running out of money and having to sell something I've already built. 
Now, the other thing I can do is I still have water barrels here. At some point, I want to flush those out or I could sell them. But I want to make, I want to get my lumber mill built first. He needs some water, but I think you can get his water from this water pump. But just to make sure, I'm going to leave that there a little bit longer. So instead of building the lumber yard right here, I used the same money that I got back from that to build another pump jack over here. And I had to destroy a tree trunk, tree trunk in order to do that. And so now I got another sale of milk. So now I'm up to 73,000. So now I should be able to spend 50,000 on my lumber yard. I still have 23,000 left over. And I think that'll last me, uh, if I'm making a milk every 10 minutes or making a milk sale every 10 minutes, I only need $7,500 before another 10 minutes rolls by. So I should be good to go now on that. Right now I'm doing pretty good on energy. Um, see, we're making both, we're making gas now. Let me show you. I have four gas as soon as that one gets in there. I'm still not up to five or six, or seven like I'd like to be. And crude is a little low. That's why I added another oil pump over here. And my petroleum is doing real good right now, actually, which is this refinery. And the batteries, like I said here, we have... Ooh, that was just the automatic reload of the browser. I don't know what caused that. So what I was saying is that right now I have 14, I think, 15 energies in this warehouse and none in this one. So the windmills are all delivering their energy to this warehouse because it's the closest for their roads to go, which is fine. I still have some leftover water drums over here, which I may flush out shortly. The next step is for me to build the lumber mill right here. And it needs to be next to a road. I don't think it has to be a paved road. So we'll try and see if we can put it there. I just need, I think it's 50,000. Let's double check. And I don't have enough buffer space right now. We'll go to industrial. We'll get lumber mill. Yep, 50,000 and five wood. So I'm going to wait till I have a little more money before I do that. So what I could do right now is maybe get rid of another stump or maybe add another road with what I have here. And then I'll wait for another $40,000 for my next milk before I build that lumber mill. Okay, so I'm starting to not like mountains. Uh, I just noticed over here, these trees are all red. The only reason I, I know they're red is the mountain. I guess we're getting shade from the mountain. And I think I did read someone else's video that the mountain casts shade so many spaces over. So... These trees are not growing near as fast as they should be. So that means all my crops should be right here in the middle. Okay, and then I should put houses or other stuff over here. Like this whole center of the board could be uh, props or something. So later in the game, I'm going to have to move these trees around. The reason I was starting to notice was like, I'm like, why don't I have more wood? So now that I built this lumber yard and I gave it a little while, it's only filled up with three wood and I do have 10 here or about, yeah, I have 10 there. So I have 13 wood total, but I was thinking of all these tree farms, I should have a lot more wood, but it's just taken the trees forever to grow. So later in the next few minutes of the game, I'm going to maybe put some lakes down here and put more trees in this area. And then later in the game, I'll get rid of the trees over here when I can. But my goal now is to turn on the lumber mill that I built and let it generate at least five lumber so I can build my first power plant right here. So I'll need a, I think it's a, is it a hundred thousand? Let's go here. Of course it has to be built by a paved road. So I'm gonna have to pave the road there. Yeah, power plants, a hundred thousand. It's going to need five wood, five lumber, and five batteries to build it, and it has to be next to a paved road. So my plan is to put it here. The only reason I put that road there a while ago was to, because this guy was going over here to get his water. So we really don't need. Well, he still he, he still does go here to get his batteries for now, his energies. But uh, anyhow, and just to double check again, there is no water, is there? Yeah, it takes one water drum. 
to make lumber, but you notice I'm getting my water from this water pump. So here, okay, what's, I'm sorry, I'm going to start, I'm going to do a craft for the first time now. I'm going to turn on craft lumber. We're going to see that he got his water immediately. So he doesn't need any water drums. That's good. And so you remember, I still have water drums sitting over here that I might dump. Maybe I'll save them for the future in case I build another lumber yard somewhere else, another wood mill, lumber mill, I mean, somewhere else. So now I'm going to let this generate five lumber and let me keep making some more cash over here. And I may, uh, before I spend the money on that, I may put a couple of ponds in this area to speed up my tree growth. Unfortunately, we have these rocks right in the middle, and you know it costs $40,000 to remove those. So those are always a big pain. So you have millions of dollars toward the end of the game. You know, I just noticed something else. It's time for a number. Hey, I just noticed something else. It's time for another lumberjack house. I only have two right now. One over here, one over here. And the reason is now that I have all these barns, I need one lumber, one or two lumberjacks carrying wood to the barns all the time. Because I'm noticing now I have all these trees and they're not being harvested. So, you know, you can't start new trees until they harvest these. So I definitely need another lumberjack. So I'm going to find a, a, a best place I can put him and add that. Okay, I risk going a little low on my money here. I just basically tore down the storehouse from here and I built it across the street. And the reason is I might want to put another feed mill right here. And... I only had one milk in it, so I knew I was, I was going to lose that milk, but I think what I didn't notice is there was about three barns that were producing milk, and so they got thrown away. So I really lost about four milk, but I know that in roughly right now, every 10 minutes, I'm building, a, I'm, I'm selling another milk, so I'm, I actually shut off my petroleum plant to save a little bit of money per minute, and so right now, I should be able to last 10 minutes till I get another milk sale. And I am really low on money. So then after that, I'll try to build up two or three milk sales again before I, I build anything else. And I'm still waiting right now my uh, new lumber mill here. How many lumbers do I have? I have three lumbers and I need five to build my power plant. So as soon as I get five there, I'll probably shut off the lumber mill because he's charging me $50 a minute too. And plus he's eating up my energies that my gas can use. Sorry, a while ago I told you I was going to need some more logger houses. So what I did is I actually destroyed a farmer house and replaced it with a rancher house, both here and here. Because since I have this wheat stand, I basically don't need farmers. All they were doing before, I think, was watering my trees. But now I've got enough ponds and I've got the buggy guy here, the buggy Mr. Puddles. If I put a tree there, he could water it. And so I'm going to keep that farmer just in case. But I don't need a lot of farmers right now, which is kind of cool. Now, when you're crafting something like this uh, lumber mill here, if you stop crafting now, you lose everything in there. So I actually did have my five lumbers already created, and I could stop it now, but since I don't want to waste anything, see, I'm going to go ahead and let it finish the sixth lumber. And as soon as that blue line gets down, then I'll stop the lumber mill. So I'll have six lumber, one extra, because I didn't stop it earlier. Now, like I said, I need a hundred thousand. So I really need to have in my bank probably 125 or so before I build my power plant. And look at my uh, milk production now. According to this, I'm building about probably, what's well, round, round off? That's 80 milk per hour. So that's eight milk sales per hour. Eight times 40 is 320,000 an hour. So how long will it take me to get a little over a hundred thousand dollars here? about 20 minutes, probably 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm just going to go do something else. Let the auto cell do its thing. Actually, it's probably even less than that. It's just well, three milk cells is what I need. Before I build the power plant, I noticed like that this feed trough is empty. So I added another feed mill here and another ranch house here. And we'll see if that gets some more food into this trough faster. Look there within about two minutes or less, it's already filling that food trough up. So I think that was a good decision.
right there, right there's a reason I'm glad I kept my water. Um, I just temporarily decided to make gas in both of these just to get my gas up a little bit. And this guy only has one water from here where this guy gets two waters from both of the pumps. So he still needs a water barrel if I'm going to make gas on him. But I'm going to have to convert him back to petroleum and just as soon as he makes that one gas, because notice over here, my uh, fuel storage is going to fill up. It'll only hold 40 items. And right now, I am I guess I'm making too much crude oil. I added uh, four pumps now, so they're actually adding crude oil maybe a little faster than what I wanted. So. I'm going to actually t stop crafting on uh, one or two of my pumps. And then what I'll do before I wrap up for the night is I will probably build another fuel tank over here, which is what I always like to do, very close to the refinery so they have less walking to do. And then this is just kind of like an overflow fuel tank at that point. Okay, the next sort of trick is my, my fuel tank here is just getting too full. 39 out of 40, and then like another crude oil came into it. So if these guys can't put their products in there, it doesn't help. So what you can do is as soon as the truck comes back here, I'm going to manually sell 10 of those crude oils. I don't really want the money, but I want to get them out of the tank. There's no way to flush just a certain product in there, but you can sell it. So I'm going to go to here to sell. Of course, it's going to waste a gasoline can to do this, but I think it's the best way to do it. And then this is what I got 27 of, is the crude oils. <laughs> you see, you're only getting 500 bucks for them. So it's probably costing more money to make the gas than it is to, to sell them. But it's going to free up space in my uh, fuel tank here. So I really overbuilt too fast my... Uh, my multiple oil pumps here. I should have probably waited till I built the second tank before I added so many of those. Now you can see my fuel tank is only 27 items in it, so I have plenty of extra room, at least for the next few minutes. This is kind of hilarious. This guy here is taking that battery back to this refinery over here. So he's walking all the way around. I guess he doesn't like to walk across water pumps or water. <laughs> so it seems like he could just squeeze right through here and then get his product. But he's making a long trip around there. But that's another reason why we want to go with the power plant so we don't rely on those uh, energy battery things. I also put another worker house here. And I built a few more little roads here just to kind of help traffic going kind of like this east and west direction. Right behind this uh, lumber mill, I got rid of a stump and I put a little road there and that'll make it faster now. Like if he goes to get the electricity energies out of here, he'll get them a little faster and it gets him slightly faster to the energy tank, to the tank over here. But again, the powerhouse is going to solve a lot of these problems. But the power will only give me half of the power I need. So eventually I need two power stations over here. So it just takes time. I'm barely breaking even on my gas right now. Because basically every time I make a gas, almost with, it takes like 10 minutes to make that. And then by then another milk run is running. So then I go back down from four to three. So you can see I'm just barely staying even on my gas, even with all the things I built down here. So I know I keep saying it, the power plant will help speed up things because then these guys won't have to go run for these batteries over and over. Okay, I sold more than enough milk now, and I actually got rid of a couple stumps, so that delayed me $30,000 worth of stumps, and I'm going to put the power plant right here. I'll do that in the video, because you don't do power plants very often. Here's the power plant. Again, it has to be on a paved road. And remember, my next power plant might be here, which means I'm going to have to pave this road right here because this refinery always needs to be by a paved road. So I just added a dirt road here. I need to upgrade it to a paved road, and then later I can destroy this and put another power plant there when I save up enough money. So that will take a little bit of time to build because right now I only have two builder houses. I could add a third, but 
I don't think I need it. And then they're going to have to go bring the lumber and the wood from right here, which is not very far. And then they're going to have to get five energies from one of the storehouses. There's one there and there's 20 here. So I've got enough energy. My energy, of course, is still being drained by the, especially the gas plant over here. Six every time I make gas and two every time I make petroleum. So we'll give that, who knows, five to 10 minutes to build. Okay, so the power plant is built. And the first thing I want to do is turn the crafting off because I don't want it to make batteries yet. I mainly want it to supply energy to the refinery next door. Okay. So we're going to have to wait until this one uh, does its thing. There, it starts smoking. So we'll wait 30 seconds. I'll come back. Okay, double checking. I'm back. Now you see we have three out of six energy, and I know the guy is still delivering the gas. So he hasn't had time to go fetch any of that energy. So basically, we're getting our water now, not for free, but from these two water pumps, and we're getting half of our energy from this power plant. So what I really need is another power plant right here. This is where I basically, again, I messed up. I really should have followed a better layout because this guy needs two power plants to get his six energy, and this one needs a power plant to get his uh, two energy. And the way I've aligned this now is just not too good, to be honest. So I don't have any more squares out here. Power plant could go there. I think a diagonal is good enough. If I put a power plant here, I think it's only going to give two energy across, you know, two hops over here because it's two squares away to that guy. He needs three, not just two. This is where I've really messed up. I'm going back to my diagrams to see where I really messed it up. This was diagram uh, This was diagram one. That's the one I should have stuck with. So I should have put a power plant here, not a water pump. Right here. Oh, but that's what I was thinking. This guy needs two waters to give him both of his waters. So I really should have put the water pump like over there, right here, not a road. Oh, and a lumber mill. Yeah, we put the lumber mill. Actually, we put him over here. So lumber mill's there. We have a power plant here now. We could put a pump power plant here. We have a refinery here, so that would give him the power he needs. Water pump here, and then we can copy that. We need another water. No, we, oh, we need another water pump, not for the power plant, because the power plant can get his from this water pump here. But we're going to need another water pump to make this guy happy. So here, we're going to have to put a pond. Anyway, there's going to be a pond there. So I basically put the pond in the wrong place. Now let's look at diagram two right here. That one was just kind of, I don't know, variation of the same. And my third one, where I totally got confused, confused myself that I needed two, I need two. I do have the two water pumps here. So I, I was thinking about supplying the water to him, but I forgot about how to supply the power to this guy. This power plant, even if I put it there, doesn't quite reach to him. Oh, I remember that's what I was saying before, that I could tear down this road here. Okay, that's where I think I'm messing up. I don't need that. I can build the, the power plant. I mean, the refinery is only 15 grand. So I can spend 40000 get rid of that. Let's go ahead and do that now. I got enough money. I hate to get rid of stumps. I mean, I hate to get rid of rocks so early in the game. But let's look at my diagram here. Yeah, we'll put a power plant there. And what we're going to do is move the refinery from here to here. Or, have, or actually have an extra refinery, maybe. And there, that, that way, this power plant gets his water from here. 
this extra water then would help either refinery to create gas if we need to. Right now, this one has trouble making gas because he's away from the water. So if we put him next to the water, he's a little better off. And then, of course, the refinery needs to be next to a road. So really, this needs to be a road here. Confusing, isn't it? Now, what do I need here? Do I need a road or nothing? A pond? I don't think I need anything here. Okay, so this is what, the, what we're going to try to build next. I got to make sure I got enough roads, though. So I'm going to have to get rid of this stump here. This has to be a paved road here. If you don't have a plan, you see it's just not going to work out at all. Even when you do have a plan, you can confuse yourself, right? Refinery's going to need a road. So I'm going to either have to stop and kill this warehouse to build a road there, or I'm going to have to stop this refinery long enough to build another refinery here. What a waste of resources, right? So how's my gas fuel? Let me check my gas over here. Okay, I got five gas. Good. I'm as long as I'm above four, I'm kind of happy. And let's my milk's at eight right now, so I'm about to sell a milk. But I think I'm gonna have time to do this. And also how many petroleum do I have here? Yeah, I've got eight petroleum. So I can I can make I think eight gas without any more petroleum. So I'm kind of good to go there. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to delete this refinery. And to build it there, we need to put a road here. Let me just check my diagram one more time. Yeah, I need a paved road there as well. So right here, we're going to build a road, actually a paved road. So here, we can just put paved road, 10,000 bucks. And then I can go ahead and I can just destroy this one because the warehouse needs a road too, but we got a little tiny paved road over here. So he's okay. I didn't have to pay that. That was a waste. Destroy that road. And then this stump's going to have to go. I'm going to go ahead and remove the stump now. That'll take me down to $15,000 in my bank account up here. And it's gone. And it's going to need what? It's going to need a paved road too. So when I come back, what I'm going to do, this should be a paved road. Then I'm going to do a paved road here. And then I'll build this. No, next I'll build the refinery here because I don't want my refinery to be gone too long. Otherwise I could, I could have a bad gas shortage again. So I'll wait for that road. I'll build my refinery. Then I'll build this road paved and then I'll build my plant. And again, that'll take me uh, five or six milk sales. So that could be a process of uh, 45 minutes to an hour easily. You know, I'm, I think it's just late in the day. It's 1030 at night and I'm just totally missing things. So I also going to have to have a power plant over here. So I see if I would have built this better, I could have done by, I could have done with just two power plants, but with the way I've messed things up, I'm going to need three. So that, that might be good for the future. Like if I need uniforms or something or a cakery or something else, maybe this will work out good. But I really didn't plan to build three power plants before I went to bed tonight, but I think I'm going to have to. Need two for this one so he can make gas. I need one for this one so he can just make regular petroleum. And if, I, if this one, this one could have been like over here if I'd started, you know, one square over. But I think I based the whole thing on where my pond was, right? So I wanted my water facility originally by the pond. And that's why I'm really one square off is I should have either used a different pond on a different part of the board or I should have built a pond here. But back at the beginning of the game, I didn't have $20,000 to be messing with ponds, right? That's too, too expensive. This part of the game, building a pond is, is no big deal. You know, and as long as I'm running my wind turbines, I'm okay. I, I mean, I'm just trying to basically speed this up so the gas is being created at much faster rate than the products I'm selling. And right now, I'm just kind of like barely, barely getting there, okay? But I want to increase it more and more so that gas, I don't have to worry about again for, for the rest of the game. 
Okay, so I got that refinery built, and you see I am getting more gas now. And I believe the primary reason is, is that just having this one power plant here is that the, the, the little man that runs the refinery doesn't have to go fetch but half as many of the batteries or the energy units, okay? So just having that there speeds up a lot of walking and carrying of things back and forth. And that's why we really want two power plants here is to just maximize that speed. And then also we can get rid of uh, most, if not all of our wind turbines. Okay, another update. So again, you're learning from my mistakes. I hope that's why you like my videos. I do make mistakes, right? Right now, this guy is getting two energies all the way over here from this guy. Okay, so if you count the squares, he gives three energies to everybody immediately around him. And then even on the diagonal and like, what, what do you recall? It's over one and over one again. He's still getting two energies from him. Because this guy didn't get any batteries. Let me just prove that to myself. I'm going to do a craft stop and just throw away whatever I have in there now. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Now I'm going to say craft start petroleum. And now let's check the energy. And you see, boom, we've already got two energies. He didn't go fetch any energy. So that energy is coming from this power plant right here. So one more time, I'm just doing dumb things tonight. And so... Basically, I don't need a power plant here. I need my next power plant to give three to this. Because this one, this guy needs six if he's going to make gasoline. Okay. And so we need a power plant somewhere touching him. And since we have a road there, we can't take the paved road away. So we're going to have to put it here. And a power plant, oh, God, it needs the water. All right. So we're going to have to build a pond and a water pump here. Because he can't be just diagonal to a water pump, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's just try and see. Let's do a remove here. I don't have enough money yet, but let's just go. No, it won't show yet. Let me wait till I get enough money and then we'll test that out. But we're still going to have to have a paved road too. So let me go ahead and get all the other requirements. Oh crap, I don't want to pave that road if I'm going to have to turn around and put a water pump there. So I guess what I'm saying here, uh, this is what we call playing for knowledge. Sometimes you, you waste money because you're trying to learn how to be a better professional at the game, right? There's these things like this I've done before, but I don't have it all straight in my mind yet, obviously. And so this is why it's good to work from a layout that someone else has built lots of times and not just try to wing it on your own because you, you can get stuck in these scenarios where you're wasting a lot of your own money game money anyway. I'm going to come here and check. You, it says here, must place near a paved road and a water pump. It doesn't say next to, it says near. That's where I wish their documentation was more clear. And I, yeah, if I click the information, it says must place near, near a paved road and a water pump. So that is what I call totally unclear. So what we're going to do is test that word near. We're going to try to put a power plant right here. And I have plenty of money right now. So go down here. And well, not plenty for everything. But anyway, power plant. And it's still grayed out. So even though I don't have five lumber at the moment, it's not going to require those things to start building it. Okay. What it's basically telling me here is that this is grayed out because I'm not near a paved road and a water pump. Even though I am, in my mind, near them. What they mean is next to. So what I have to do first is reverse these two guys right here. So unfortunately, I have to remove that and remove my beautiful pond here. And I have to reverse them and put the pond here. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and build just temporarily again. I had a water well somewhere nearby here. You want lots of water wells when you're building ponds to speed things up. Of course, that takes a wood, and it's going to take a minute for the guys to deliver the wood. But we will now start the pond here. And we will return shortly. Oh, and notice what's happening now is during that interim time, 
it's going to start using water drums from that little bit of storage I had over here. So again, I'm lucky I saved my water drums, okay? Because right now I need them. Okay, so I'm about to build the second power plant. I basically have another milk run coming back even as we speak. And I built the other water pump to go with the pond here. And so right now, as soon as that money cashes in, I'm going to go for this water pump. I have my lumber already made. Let's build power plant. See, it's no longer grayed out. 100000 Bye-bye money. And give that a while to build. So this actually may be a pretty good structure after all. You know, uh, I just should have planned it out better and it would have saved some time and some of my game money in doing so. And despite all that, I'm still getting pretty good gas now. So see, now I'm up to nine gasoline. So just having that one power plant there speeded things up quite a bit because it's giving energy to this guy. It's giving half of the energy we need to this guy. So again, they're not running around for the battery energy so much. While that's being built, I need to decide where I want to put my next gas tank. So I want one that's closer. And it'd be nice if I had one that was kind of equidistant between these two. And so that would mean either here or here. And so what I'm thinking about is making this a road. Get rid of that stump, make a road, get rid of this, unfortunately, get rid of the rock, which again, I hate to get rid of rocks at this early in the game because it's $40,000. But that's the perfect place to have, I think, the tank for tonight so that I will have two fuel tanks. I'm going to go ahead and work on that next. I can get rid of the stump and build the road now, and then that will allow me to connect this road too, which will get guys going faster through here. And also maybe by the end, before I go to bed tonight, I might try to get this road over to this tank, maybe a little better done. There are a couple of ways we could do that. I think here, but we'll see. Okay, just showing you what it looks like now. The power plant's there. And I know that having two power plants beside a refinery will give it six energy. I just know that because I've done it many, many times. Uh, right now it's got six energy because it already carried in the batteries from before. You notice I've got too many roads now, so I'll clean this mess up tomorrow. And the next thing I'll do is build my fuel tank here when I get a little bit more money. And rather than trying to clear out two stumps here to make a road, I think I could just basically take this uh, worker house and move him somewhere else. And I just need one road and get rid of a marsh and put a road there then. And actually now I don't think I need the worker houses as much. I have three of them. But I do want one over here close to the, the crude oils because they need to be running back and forth between the crude oils and the, I mean, but the oil pumps and the tanks. Okay, so I sort of reversed myself. I'm still waiting on money to get rid of that rock. So I basically moved the worker house over here, got rid of it here, and now I got rid of two marshes and basically built that road. So my roads are looking pretty good. You know, it's not that good to have turns in your road either like this, but you know, it'd be better to have a straight road here where they don't have to turn as many, like two corners, but such is life, right? Maybe tomorrow again with more money, I can, I can make that even better. Now, the next thing, I still have two builder houses here and they're still running around collecting all these batteries. So at this point, uh, I probably gonna at least stop, if not remove a lot of my wind turbines because at this point, I don't have anything that needs the, the energy battery things, okay? Okay, so we're almost set to let it run all night. Uh, I got my extra tank here now. And there's one more tuning I want to do is in the auto cell script. I don't want to come back in the morning and have all my, uh, have all crude oil and all my tanks here. So I'm afraid if I don't have enough oil pumps on, I won't have enough crude oil. But I'm afraid if I turn four or five of them on, I might end up with all crude oil. So I did a video a while back on the advanced use of auto sale scripts. And see here, I have crude oil 25 set here. So that means that if I get 35 crude oils, it will keep, it will try to keep 25 and it will sell everything above 25 in groups of 10. Okay, so let's check the numbers here. 
Um, again, I'm not making much money. I actually probably lose money when I'm selling the crude oil. But the main goal is to not fill my tanks up all with crude oil because that can stop the production of gasoline, basically. And so that should be good to go. Notice I also sell gasoline during the night. So if I end up with uh, over, well, again, I'm keeping 20. So see, the keep amount is 20. That means if I have 30 gasoline, I would sell 10. And, you know, that's actually pretty low. I'm going to raise that to 30. Sometimes it's, you know, once you have these scripts set, it's kind of not good to change them. So every time you change that script, I have to go over here and refresh my screen as well. So let me do that. Okay, so I refresh the screen. And so now I'm pretty much ready to let it run through the night. And actually, this would be a stable town at this point. If all I wanted to do is make my daily rewards, I could basically log on, let this run for 30, 40 minutes, max probably, and I would make my daily rewards, as long as the daily rewards are the same as what they are now. Oh, and I see now, see, it's actually selling energies because I don't want to fill my... Uh, my, my my general thought from a prior setup I had was that I don't want to fill up my warehouses with the batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and stop, I believe, all the uh, wind turbines so that I don't have this issue. You may notice I actually removed three or four turbines before, and now I just did a craft stop on these three. The batteries should not be selling again, and I really don't need the batteries I have, but not going to hurt anything. Nothing else should be going into these warehouses right now. If you build uniforms, then you'll need warehouses for that. But until I need something else that needs energy, basically all my energy needs are being met by these power plants, which is why I spent the money to build them. So how much can I make during the night in the, in the play money here? So here's the calculator. And let's just say I have eight hours till eight o'clock tomorrow morning. And let's say I'm going to be making, uh, I think I was guessing six milk runs per hour, about every 10 minutes, times 40,000 per milk run. And I should have, when I come in the morning, 1.92 or a million nine hundred and twenty thousand dollars, almost two million dollars up here in my funny money. And then with that money, like I said, I could actually just stop here and quit building my town and just collect my daily rewards. But as I mentioned at the beginning, I, I've never played with the, the mountains as far as doing uh, mining. And so I want some extra money so I can, you know, like, for instance, change my uh, maybe my rancher's houses to uh, ATM vehicles. All terrain, whatever it is, AT, whatever it is, AT vehicles. And I might want to pave some roads and I might want to build some more lakes. I know right now, like this tree here, this tree farm and this tree farm are being watered by either the farmer or by Mr. Puddles here. That's not optimal, but that'll get me through the night just fine. I think I'm going to put one little road right here. Let me just show you. Um, I'd love to get rid of this stump. I might still do that before I go to bed, but I'd like the rancher to get to this food trough here a little bit faster. So I'm going to remove that tree stump and put a dirt road there. And then I may or may not do the rocks before I retire for the evening. So that's the end of what I wanted to show you today. We basically completed this phase. Like I said, I'm going to list and make a video on what I call phases. We have finished the phase of the game where, A, our city is self-supporting, uh, basically runs on its own. And number two is I can let it run overnight, therefore, and then I can generate a lot of money each night if I was, especially if I was playing in the competition, you'd want that to happen. But I also want the extra money, like I said, just to have money to play with, to, to, to build other things and, and make other experiments to learn more about the game. So thank you for watching. I know it's been a little long. I'm going to edit out a lot of the bad stuff and try to make it as short as possible. And, oh. The thing about me today that I'll tell you, and you may have seen it before, when I was moving my screens around, you might have seen a little bit of Hebrew letters on the bottom of the screen. I study Hebrew, and I actually used to, I still do, I sell a program, but it's getting kind of out, out of date now that teaches people how to read Hebrew. And again, I can tell you more about that in future videos, so that's the fact about Neil today, and I'll see you on the next video.